Okay, here's um, this is Novell Filer for iPad, and this is a simulator. Just go through uh, quickly um, the interface for how to navigate around in the iPad. You notice when you first come in, there's nothing in the lists of your recently opened. So in order to populate those, you can click on any of the icons to get to a list. So I'll go into my files, click on that. You notice I'll see this view of my files. I can see a list of the files and folders here. I can refresh by pulling down. Um, I can go into navigate into another file. Nothing in this folder. Go back. Um, once I select on an, an actual file, it shows it in the right side. I can see details of that file, the size, who owns it. Um, I can click on another file and it brings it up. Once I go through and click on some of these files, clicking on the home button here at the uh, top of the screen, top of the left navigation panel, takes me back and you'll notice it keeps track of those files that you've recently opened. So now here it looks like that I've got some uh, recently shared files with me so I can go into that, look at uh, some of these um, files and folders that have been shared with me. Um, Bob and Tina is shared with me. I can go in here and look at that. Shared by um, Regis. Some of files. Look at it. If you look at the details of these files, you can actually see that uh, the details of the person that shared it with you. Um, of course, you can use the navigation panel down here rather than going always going back to the home. You can go to the navigation the tab set down at the bottom to go to net folders shared with me my files or those files that you've downloaded to your device like for example I'm looking here at Bob underscore two file I want to keep that on my device so I can click here and it'll download it now it shows up in the downloads section clicking back to the home page I still, don't have, I still haven't done anything with net folders. Now net folders are those folders that have been uh, connected up, a folder that might exist on a server somewhere. Um, so I can click into that. Uh, I can close that file. and I can go into engineering here and see all the files that are, are made available to me um, from the engineering folder. So I can click on here shows me some of the files that are available to me and see the details of them and if I go back to the home of course those show up now you can get to settings general account information um, versions whether you want to sync during Wi-Fi only your usage and of course you can clear your cache at this point as well see how much you're using um, any help information uh, for our documentation sites. Now going out here I, I can search within the system for a particular file. Here I can say let's type in fun. There's a search comes back with um, some files that it found. Go back to cancel that, go back to home. There's a what's new um, icon that you can click and it's basically uh, bubbles up in the files that bubble up in what's new are those things that have been changed or comments been added to it so you can filter that down to see what's new in my files only or shared with me and these are all the latest uh, files whether something's happened to them whether a comments been added to them you can um, see right here so it looks like um, this file Bob one that was shared with me I can click on the comment bubble and I can sh add a new comment right here or show the comment so it looks like uh, Scott has made a comment on this file you look at the the next one hockey season and I can I can reply to that just by clicking on it or I can uh, go up to the top and add a, a, a top level comment on the file or I can reply right to the, uh, a comment. So I'll close that. 
hide the comments, and I'll go to the next one. It has eight. It's showing it has 18 um, comments too, and so I'll show those. And you can go in here and you can see all the comments that have been made on that particular fi file and by who. You can go in and and make a. Uh, this is a. Oops. This is a reply. And send that. And you notice as soon as I put that in, it shows up right here, right in the list. So I can go get the details of that file, of course. I can go and close and hide those and continue to go down. I can go to the left side here and filter down to anything I want, um, seeing just the files within a particular um, collection. Going back here, I can also to the home page, I can see uh, sh down here at the bottom, the shared with me, I mean shared by me, excuse me. So if I click shared by me, I can see those files that I've shared with other people. So here's a list of them. We'll close that file. On the right side, so this uh, shuttle.jpg file that I've shared, I can click on the details, and I can see who I've shared it with. Um, so it's a, a nice feature that you can have. So you can click into it and see these files. Of course, any file you go in to see, you can see down at the bottom that there's, um, you, you can see comments right in line as well. So if we click on that button, I can see the uh, comments that have been made. I can reply to this comment, the same as I did before, or add a top-level comment. This is a top-level comment put that in and it goes it's at the same level of all the comments now I can reply in line with to one of these specifically to this this is a comment to a comment or I should say this is a reply to a comment put that in of course it shows indented there and then you can hide that or show that back to the main view. So this is a quick review of the navigation functionality of how you can get around in Filer on the iPad.